find angle A below. Now, for us to find the value of A here, what we can simply do is to draw a line from this point to the center of this circle. And then we can also draw a line to divide this angle A here to the center of the circle. Now, if you look at this, this is the radius of the circle from the center to the circumference is radius. This is also radius of the circle and this is also radius of the circle. Now, these three lines are radius of the circle. So that means this triangle is an isosceles triangle because the two sides are equal. So these two sides are equal. So that means this triangle is an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So if this is 65, that means this angle here is also 65 because the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. Now, if you also look at this triangle here, you will see that this side is equal to this side now. Now, looking at this second triangle, this side is also equal to this side. So that means these two triangles have their three sides equal. You can see this side is equal to this side. This side is equal to this side. And this side is equal to this side. So these two triangles are equal triangles. And in equal triangles like this, all their angles are also equal. So if this is 65 and 65, it means that these two base angles are also 65 and this is also 65. So from there, we can conclude that the value of A, which is this full angle, will be this 65 plus this 65. So in conclusion, I can say A is equal to 65 plus 65. And that will give me angle A as 130 degrees, which is the final answer. So please subscribe to this channel so that I can get more videos like this. Thank you.